Hey, did you know that you can become a member of the show? Help us support the channel. Help us grow for as little as 0.75 British pounds, a dollar a month. It's not much and you can help us support the channel. And also you can get great perks. You can get loyalty badges every month showing your support and your loyalty to the channel. You can get customized emojis for you to have fun on the chat. Also, you can get priority reply to your comments, early access to new videos, member shout outs. And of course, you get your name added twice to the monthly raffle, increasing your chances to win monthly prices, home shirts, away shirts, anything that has to do with Newcastle United. We give away something every month and you can win that as well. And if you want to upgrade to the ultimate tier package, you can get a lot more perks and exclusive content. On top of everything that you get on the first tier, you can also get a bigger chance to win in these raffles because you get your name added five times, increasing your margin to win these prices. As well as exclusive member-only videos, you get member-only live shows, and the Once Upon a Time podcast only for you, only for Ultimate members. And in this podcast, we talk about the history of Newcastle United, everything that has to do in the past, the entertainers. We cover everything throughout history, dating back to the beginnings of times. So don't miss out. It's for a small price every month. You get exclusive content and a shot of winning big, big prizes at the end of every month. What are you waiting for? You can join in the first link in the description or click the join button on every video and you should be able to become a member of the Hello? Well, it's not working again. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. No, uh, what, a what, a, what a shy What a shy game. Pathetic game. Um, no. uh, I'm not going to say an unfortunate game because obviously we contributed to well, that. Well, we all knew what was going to happen. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and of course, we're going to be, we're going to continue to get more and more um, insiders to come on the show if you're driving home. From the pub, a few are gonna just keep on drinking until they pass out because the the game that we saw today was utter utter nonsense. Uh, I mean, it, it, it was just embarrassing. The most the the worst game I've seen as a Newcastle fan. Well, I mean, obviously, I've seen. I'm gonna take that back. I've seen some shite games, but I mean, in the last two three years, probably one of the most embarrassing games that I've seen. Uh, and they have, uh, they destroyed us. Arsenal destroyed us. But we added to that. I think Eddie Howe dropped the ball on this one today. But to be honest with you, he made the changes that we all wanted him to make. So Livermento came on and Livermento had um, a howler today. Because I'm just giving you my opinion until everybody else gets on and then we're going to get their opinion, of course. Smash the like button because this is going to be it's, the, it's going to be a show of a lot of angry folks. And listen, if you're out there and you are an optimist and you you think that it is what it is and we'll, we'll go with it, I respect that. But please don't impose it on anybody else that's literally upset about this because that's the, you know everybody is entitled to feel the way they want to feel. Let us know in the chat what you think about this match because we want to get your opinion, trust me. Um, but as of right now, I mean, I, in my assessment of the game is we made the, the changes that we needed to make maybe when it comes to player names, but we didn't change the system. We still play with the same same system, and when a team doesn't have a midfield, like we we don't. We don't have a midfield. Bruno Guimaraes tries to do everything, but he can't. He can't do it all. Longstaff is non-existent. Shite. He doesn't exist. Longstaff doesn't exist. He literally doesn't play, um, and he doesn't sub him. He subs a burn for Livramento, something that everybody wanted to, to uh, wanted to happen, and it, it did happen. But he doesn't take away the player that actually plays worse than Burn every week and day out, which is Longstaff. Longstaff plays worse than Burn every week. He doesn't take that guy out, knowing that the midfield is supposed to help us stay, help us maintain equilibrium in the pitch 
and he doesn't he doesn't make any changes. So listen, if you expect me and everybody else, all the insiders, to be just happy, and this is supposed to be a channel that uh, that that's for everybody that you know to make themselves feel happy. No, this is a real channel. This is a channel where everybody comes on and has their say. This is a channel where everybody is entitled to feel how they want to feel. And we're not going to condition anybody to just, you know, be fake positive in front of the camera so it, it's appealing to, to the audience. No. Everybody's here to say th their piece, whatever they feel. Nobody imposes anything. And to me, this was one of the most embarrassing games that I've seen as a Newcastle fan. And I've been a Newcastle fan probably 20 years with common sense. Uh, 20, 20 years. And I've seen some, some, some shit games. Don't, don't get me wrong. But uh, th this, this is just, it was just tough to watch because we sit back and hoped for the best. You can't do that. You know what I mean? If you want to be a big team at some point, you have to be able to compete. Now, I'll be honest with you. A lot of these players were shite. And that's just the bottom line. Maybe they played great last week or the week before. But today, they were shite. That's just the bottom line. And you also have to criticize them. Eddie Howe make, made him his mistakes. And once again, he never makes the subs on time. He waits until the until the 80th minute, until the 70th minute, to make something happen. I believe Willock should have started. Some people, some of my 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 counterparts think that Willock is hurt, so he's gonna play him uh, an hour. Well, he didn't play an hour. He played a lot less than that. I think he should have started because if I'm gonna take burnout, which I wanted, I wanted to see what Livermore can do. He got skinned too, by the way. Well, let's keep it honest. Let's be honest. He got skinned today. By Bukayo Saka, something that Dan uh, Byrne was criticized for already before the game was started. Byrne was going to play, and he was going to get skinned by Bukayo, and actually Livermento did. And to to the Byrne supporters, which we all are to a certain extent, to be honest with you, he came on, puts in a cross for Willock, and and they scored the one goal that gave us. No, I don't even I don't even think they gave us hope, but at least they gave us something to. Uh, it pissed me off more than anything. Because I had to change my thumbnail, <laughs> and you know what I mean. But uh, I'm gonna go with uh, with Roy. Uh, we're gonna go in order re 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 uh, right here. Uh, Roy, what are your thoughts on this game, brother? Shite. Uh, I expected five not yesterday, and I thought we we'll, we might maybe the team might disappoint my prediction yesterday, but we played worse than I thought. I mean, this, if it wasn't for the keeper, we would have, they would have scored five or six goals. Uh, I, okay. We, we've, we've changed a few play. Well, we've changed two players, or three from the last one, but the system is the same, which is 4 3 3. High press. Did you press? No. Did you defend properly? No. Did you even put two passes together in the first half? Actually, we barely played football the whole game. It, it, this shite. So you, you either park the bus and play shit horsey football and uh, Steve Bruce kind of football, which might probably would have been better than this shit. Um, or you attack and try to play football. We did no, nothing. Uh, Botman, disaster today. Fabian Shea. What on earth was he doing half of the game? Bad. It's, it's... Positioning was bad. Um, distribution, non-existent. He passed. He actually, Fabian Shea almost gave him an assist when he passed the ball to Martinelli. Or was it Odegaard? I can't remember now. So shit. I've got, I've got the highlights. I'm watching it now. It's fucking awful. Man. Unbelievable. Um, are we a top four team? Nope. Are we a top six team? Nope. So we might finish eighth. I can't blame injuries for playing this shit because it wasn't just one bad play on the pitch. That's right, seven, eight players. And I'm telling you now, just fingers crossed and hope that we still have Bruno next season because he's probably thinking, now what the fuck am I doing with these bastards? He's surrounded by shit, mate. He's, he's, honestly. And um, long stuff. Oh, my God. Was he there? Is it? I don't want to say he's a coward or something. He's, maybe that's him. That's that's his football ability. That's all he could do. He's, he's slow. He's shit. He's got no vision. 
Tell you what, Miley, Miley's, I said it before, Miley's balls are bigger than his heat. Miley played like a man today, and Longstaff played like a fanny. Um, Almiron, headless chicken. Yeah. Was there any positives? The only positive was um, the keeper didn't let us down. He did all those saves. Um, I know Derek's here, and he's going to say, yeah, we should have started with Botman. The only, I mean, no, I mean uh, Dan Byrne. The only way I think Dan Byrne should have started is if he had three centre-backs on. Three centre-backs with Livermento on the left. And that's, that's what I think the mistake was, because I, want, I wanted three at the back and two full-backs there and dropped long stuff. That's what I was hoping for. Change the system. Don't change few players and think everything is going to change. Your problems in midfield. Longstaff and Miley can't carry the ball forward. They can't create anything. They just run, both of them. Miley's a bit better than Longstaff. I can't blame him. He's, he's still a kid. He's still growing. He's a couple of weeks older than my daughter. So I can't blame him. But Longstaff, how long? How long you, what, what, you've been playing five years in the Premier League. I can't. If we sell him, honestly, if we sell this lad, who's going to buy him? I, I don't think he'll get a game for Sheffield thing. United. Yeah, right, but anyway, Derek, you know his shit. So, anyway, off to Derek. Oh, no, who's no, the off second to, one? Off to Jack. Jack. Off to Jack. Off off to Jack. Jack. Come on. Um, are you, you Jack's Jack, son? You no, know, Jack oh. is Eddie House, son. Um, Wait, let me, let me, I'm going to change, I'm going to change the flipping. I don't want to see these highlights on here. Yeah. Shit, uh, Jack, um, what are your thoughts, mate? Not good enough. Nowhere near good enough. Um, yeah, he, I was surprised Isak did start the game, to be honest, because I thought that I, I didn't really expect long, um, Isak to come straight in. Um, but Isak, it was, it was a tough game. I mean, Arsenal, they had a game plan. They were set out to do something. They were set off, set off to start quick. We couldn't cope with them. We just couldn't cope with them. Um, we tried to ride the wave out, um, and we just couldn't we couldn't cope with their pressure, and we couldn't cope with what, what they were doing, and they scored two goals from it. And uh, then they started to... Set, set back a little bit, turn the foot off the gas, and then we start to get a bit more on the ball a little more, and then start to move it about a little bit. And half time, second half, uh, should have gone three and up with Havertz, uh, and then they uh, foot off the gas again. And then we started to get more possession with the ball, moving forward a little more. Still couldn't get that final cutting pass to get on the go to get the goal. And then Arsenal got a third, then got a fourth. And then we pop up with a Willett goal. Very happy for Willett to be back. And you can just see when Willett came on, you can just see that, he's been, that is what we've been missing. The energy in midfield he provides. He just got the ball, skipped past three Arsenal players, and we formed an attack. That is what we've been missing from Willock uh, this season. And it's such a shame he's been injured so many times this season because um, he really would have thrived this season. He really, really would have. It's just a shame. Uh, Arsenal, it was, it was always going to be a tough game. It always was. Um, Arsenal, 15 goals in three games, speaks volumes for itself, really. Um, at home as well, this is always going to be a challenging game for Newcastle United, but I feel like we could have done a little more uh, than what we gave today, uh, and it just was not good enough. And um, our reaction against Wolves or Blackburn, whichever one, needs to be better, way better. Uh, otherwise, questions will be asked. I'm telling you now, questions will be asked because that is just not good enough, nowhere near. Yeah. Um, well, Derek, it's your time, man. You can say whatever you please at this moment. Uh, Derek, Derek's at the pub, by the way. Uh, drinking responsibly, of course. Uh, more than likely irresponsibly, to be honest. Hey. Go ahead, uh, Derek. That, now... that, that, was, that was garbage. But I just want to say two things. First one is, all these people that have been shouting... For Tino in instead of Livermento. First goal would never have happened if Dan Bernard had been in the middle of the defense. Wait, 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 come out. You said, you said for Tino <laughs> in instead of Livermento. Do not tell me that Dan Burns would have been hit man on man the way Tino was off Saka. Everybody was saying, can you imagine Dan Burns against Saka? What did Saka do to Tino? To Tino? Burned him. Put the ball in the back of the net. So, bollocks. I said from the start, back five, and this is the second point. I am now 
massively on the Eddie Howe doesn't know what he's doing side. Because that game, for to go 4-3-3 with those three in the middle still, was suicide. And I said we'd get beat four or five. We didn't. Actually, they got four. We got one. By the way, who was it who crossed the ball? This is the, this is the fullback who, who gave to a nothing going forward. Who was it crossed the ball for the goal? Oh, yes, it was Dan Burn. I knew we, we knew you were going to get in, uh, you know, a, a little a hard uh, because of that. <sighs> it was a joke. The whole the setup was a joke. The way the team was set up tonight was a joke. And uh, and and then the absolute disgrace of substituting Botman and, and Bruno. I just I've got no idea what the fuck's going on there. None. The game was dead. Um, All right. Uh, well, is that, you, hold on. Well, everybody's going to have their, their, their that time. Is, that is public, hum public humiliation. Okay. Well, that's your opinion. All right. That is bad management. And, and, okay. and that's why I'm now giant strides towards the Kennedy take where we want to take him. Okay. So, all right. That's Derek's take. Now we're going to go to Tony. Tony, what do you think about the game? <laughs> uh, where do we start? Um you know, we saw that we saw the changes. Obviously, um, <clears throat> Carrius come in because Dubravka's got an illness, um, and obviously we saw Burn was dropped uh, for favour of Tino Livermento, which at the time you think, yeah, that's that's a good move because there's times Burn's been found wanting. So, you know, we got that change and thinking, yeah, Eddie's got the balls to do this, you know, to change things around, um. But I just wasn't happy with the way we played. We just, from from minute one, we just seemed to sit far too deep and invite the pressure on. And that's the problem. We were inviting them on more. And the more the more they had the ball, the more they were coming at us. And it was only a matter of time before they scored the first goal, let's be honest. Um, and the first goal, it was just a bit of, it was just a comedy of errors, wasn't it? Really the first goal, I mean... <sighs> I don't know what Tino Livermento was trying to do. I don't know if he's trying to get it over Botman or what, but it just seemed to rebound off Botman's knee and back into the net. And it just, um, they went 1 0 up. Do you know what that all comes then, from? Do you know what it all, all every, everything in that, not everything, the majority come of come from that, that set wrong piece. In the match. So, honestly, Tony, I've just watched that fucking match, right? Botman. I don't know if people are sticking up for Botman on here. Botman, no, I'm not. Fucking shite. I, Botman, you know, won't that's disagree the worst game with I've you. ever seen him play. He couldn't fucking pass win today, right? Uh, uh, he, uh, he 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 was out of position. Botman and Cher. It was like Cher was playing on the fucking left of the fucking centre backs, and Botman was on the right. They they looked like mm. they'd never played together. Tino actually, for me, Tino had a had, had a had a decent game. Yeah, he was one of the few. He was one of the few. Tino, he's assured on the ball, right? But that's no, no. Anyway, sorry, Tony. I'm just, I, I yeah. just fucking, did, I didn't want you fucking slating Tino when he's had a fucking good game. When well, yeah, yeah, everybody's got no, their opinion. Everybody's got their opinion. I'm not, go, I'm go not, on. No, I'm not. No, I'm not slating Tino because I did feel for him for that goal. Because look, yeah, it looked like he was trying to get rid of the ball, but the way the ball was bobbling around, you couldn't get a full control of it with his foot, and it, you know, it was just unfortunate. Um, what well, well, hold on, hold on. Kick their own ass today, if, before sorry. we before we yeah. get into the debate, which we will trust me, let's each have a, a say of what we want to say about the match, and then we're gonna uh, put the foot on the table and, and, and kill each other for it. So, Tony, go ahead. But for the second second goal for Havertz, I mean, Trippier and Cher, I mean, Botman was out like towards left back, but Trippier and Cher were so far apart, the amount of room that uh, Havertz had to straight into, you know. The goal was at his mercy to put it away, and, and he put it away. You can't blame Carrius for the goals. I mean, I thought up to length, Carrius made some good saves. Um, and then second half again, it's just, just the same old, same old, wasn't it? Arsenal having a go at us, and fair enough, we did have a go at Arsenal. Um, I didn't think Longstaff was that great. I thought he was quiet today, if I'm honest. Um, if he kicked the fucking ball 20 times. 
I'd be surprised. Yeah, if he did, yeah, exactly. Um, you know, and I thought Bruno was showing a lot of I've had to try and, you know, do something with the ball for us at least and Miley, but other than that, um, you know, but they go you know, eventually they go four 0 up and that's not you know, again that just comes off it comes off Miley and rebounds and you can see that Carrius is trying to stop it going in. Um and and Saka's goal, the third one, the defence looked non existent. Nothing Carriers could do about it. He was left stranded. Um and yeah, we pulled one back through Dan Byrne. Uh well, through Joe Willick from Dan Byrne's cross, I should say. But look, other than that, you know, we, we didn't deserve more than one goal in that game because we just didn't play well enough. And yeah. I think Eddie Howe's got it, you know, it, and like Martin Keown's just said, he's absolutely spot on with what he's just said. And, you know, I know he's an Arsenal guy, but, you know, he said the problem is Eddie Howe is too predictable. And that is why he says, you've got to look at top managers. Top managers change their tactics. Eddie Howe stays with the same tactics all the time. And that's why he's being found out all the time. And he said, until Eddie Howe makes changes, teams are going to just walk through us. And he's absolutely spot on what he's saying. Absolutely right. Um, look, I want nothing more than Eddie Howe to bring trophies to Newcastle United. But on that performance now, the way we've been playing lately, not being able to beat teams like Bournemouth and Luton Town, I'll be lucky if Eddie Howe's here next season, in all honesty, because... There's no way PIF are looking at this and thinking, oh, well, this is fine. We'll wait till the summer and we'll get more players in. And then, you know, Eddie will have a better team next season. <laughs> All right. It, because you've got to go on the tactics. And the thing is, we're making these substitutions far too late. I mean, yeah. after the first 20 minutes, we should have started. He should have made some sort of change because it wasn't working. And I'm absolutely spot on with you, Ian. Botman was a shambles today. I mean, I know... Yeah. I look at Botman, I think he's a Rolls Royce defender, but today he, he it, it was shocking what Botman was like, and I've never seen him play like that. Is he still carrying an injury? Who knows? But it was great to see Isak and Willick back, and that was the main thing. And I thought Carrius had a good game apart. Couldn't do nothing with the goals, unfortunately. All right. Um Ian, the floor is yours. Let's let's hold that and let's hold back a little bit on the F bumps. I know you're upset, and I know you're a raw guy, and that's why I love you on the show. Um but uh, let me tell you. But I did say, Chris, I'm not being funny. I did say you don't want me on. Tonight. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. I, and I know, but no, I want no, you I'm on. Not being, I want I'm, you. Not being a, I'm not being a knob or anything. No, I know, Martha, but I know. it's very yeah. hard for me to, but, like, but if I, you want us to be real and speak. I want you to be real. I want you to be real. I, let me tell you this. I'll try not to say the F or the C uh, words too well, much. Let me tell you this. It, it, it ain't, it, this, it, this, this game, yeah. it, 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 we, it, this cannot continue. So, no, yeah. this is a this right. Okay, so I'm I'm disagreeing. And I don't give a monkey's if everyone hates on me. I'm disagreeing about Eddie O. Eddie O. Put a team out there today that should have done so much better than they did. The team out there today, I I'll go through the team. In my opinion, I thought Trippier, I thought Trips was started off really well. He had nothing, nobody around him. He he showed composure. He made made one rubbish pass towards us about I think about the twentieth minute or something. Trips I thought was started off really well. Burn, uh, sorry, um, Botman and Chair. This is going to be an hard one for me. Like I love Botman and Chair. Right, I think they've been one of the best centre back partnerships that we've ever had at Newcastle since I've been following the tune anyway. So, like you know, and by the way, before I even followed the tune, I watched Newcastle play because, you know, it was it was entertaining and they were everyone's second team, weren't they? You know what I mean? Like, so since 99, I don't, I can't really think that there's been a better partnership than they were last year. Something has gone, something's gone wrong with that partnership and I think what has gone wrong and this is not slating Carriers because Carriers was our best player today but I think that they are lost without Nick Pope behind them, that's what it seems to me if you look at the stats since Pope's got injured, they have really struggled, today the only time that those um, the only time that the pair of them were in position was when the 
when the, they fucking kicked off. Sorry, was when like the no, like, you're fine, you're fine. The, they started the game. They were in position. I mean, Cher was playing on the left hand side. Botman's on the right hand side. One of them's fifteen fucking meters further up the pitch than the other one. We scored two own goals today. You know, like um, I, I honestly, I, I like I, I, I have Botman couldn't. Like he, he, he was just passing the ball to them. I mean, this is basics. At one point, I went yeah. to Tommy, I went, I'd rather have yeah. you fucking playing in, in, at centre-back yeah. than I yeah. them today. They were shit. Like, but but, but, so but I'll tell you this. Still... No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go finish your point. No, no, you say what you want, Chris. Honestly, I'm, I'm easy, man. I need to calm down. No, anywhere else I start no, no, no. But, but no, no, the thing, listen, I, I know I get, I get, Batman was was horrible. Char was horrible. But on that first play, in, on the first goal with Limermento, if he made a mistake, it's okay to say he made a mistake. We're not killing him, but it's, 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 you, I don't know what he was trying to do. He was trying to play the ball so he can, what, trying to play his way out? I mean, you just got to spike the yeah, ball. Yeah, I, 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 I get where you know you're coming I mean? from. I get where you're coming from. I'm looking at a bigger picture. For me today, Tino had a good game. He made that mistake. That's not the reason we lost today. The reason we lost today is because... I'll tell you why we lose every game and where we're losing games constantly. I've not even gotten to the midfield yet, by the way. Yeah. I'm just really disappointed that two of the best centre-backs I've seen play for the two, and, you know, who I love, the pair of them. Like, Botman's one of my favourite players that I've ever seen play for Newcastle already. He was shit today. And he's been shit for weeks, if we're being honest, right? Tino, for me, Tino looked assured... He was getting the ball. He was doing things that BDB can't do. He'd get the ball. He's got so much time. You know, it was it was amazing to see him take the ball. And this is in a shit game. Look up. Players come in left, right and centre. He just strolls one, two touches. Plays it to Bruno. Bruno does the same thing. Very similar way that they take the ball. And they they, they never rushed. You know what I mean? Whereas Dan, Dan gets the ball. And you all oh, everyone, including Dan Burns, shit in the pants. Right? And that's not me slaying Dan Byrne because he proved what he does for the team today. Because, by the way, that block that he did on the line, his football intelligence to be in the right place at that time. These other, the other defenders, if they had half the brain or used half the brain, should I say, today that Dan Byrne used when he came on that pitch, we wouldn't have got spanked that badly. It was shit, right? So anyway, sorry, I'm, that's defence done, right? Midfield, I've already seen people sl slating Miley. I'm always going to stick up for Miley because he's 17 years old, yeah? Right? He didn't have his best game, but at least he could pass the ball and at least he wasn't scared of showing for the ball. Right? If you play 4-3-3, three, three, you've got three fucking men in midfield, all three of them have to be able to kick a football. What the fuck? Was Sean Longstaff doing today? Get the stats out. I didn't even look at it. I don't want to look at it. But, but that, that's 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 did. my thing. That's my thing. Why you you if you're gonna have the cojones to, to to take burnout after people have been begging you and imploring to do that, you know, it may be against your will. Maybe maybe against Eddie's will, he did that. Uh, or maybe you know maybe he was fed up. But Longstaff plays two times. Worse than burn every week. So why not? If you have Willock, Willock is hurt, Willock is not ready, then don't fucking put him in the bench. If he's not ready, yeah. I don't understand that logic. Put Willock in because obviously when you put him in, he scores. So the best thing the, the best thing Longstaff did today was that foul in the first half. Yeah. That's the only thing I, he did today that I can remember. It was yeah. a good foul, by the way. Uh, that Jack. Jack's got to go. Jack, thank you, brother. Thank you for coming on. Love you, Jack, man. man. Thank you, mate. Take it easy. Yes. See, you, yes. yeah. See you later, Jack. Um, um, yeah, long, long. I don't know what the fuck's going on with Longstaff. He needs, he, he needs taken out of the team. And like, you know, we've got Lewis Hall there. I'll tell you now, Lewis Hall cannot play worse than that. He can't. It's not physically possible because he did nothing. I love Sean Longstaff. Last season, Sean Longstaff was integral to the team, but this is not... I don't know what is going on with him. Isak, I'm going to just go straight up through the middle. 
Isak was all right for me. He just never got the ball because he couldn't do anything. And then the commentators are saying, well, Isak's causing a problem for Newcastle because he's coming back. And you know, he's coming back because the defence and the midfield are literally not functioning. And he's not just going to stand up there playing with his fucking knob, is he? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's yeah. a team game. He's going to come back and, and try and look after the team. Um, Miggy, pff, I'm not even going to talk about him. League. Fucking shite. Headless chicken, man. Uh, yeah. Today was yeah. like, I don't know what he was doing. E even like, on that play, even on that play um, that that was offside, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you know that's how he finishes plays. You know what I mean? He didn't know he was offside. So you know how I mean? Barnes, how Barnes, this is the one thing I'll say about Eddie. I'm, 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 I'm sticking up for Eddie and saying these players did not turn up. They didn't. It was as if they'd lost the game before they started. And do you know what it is? I thought we'd won the game before we started because we'd got inside the Reds and they're all, you know what I mean? They're all still pissing and moaning about what happened at our place. We we went into that game and they looked, the, the team, apart from maybe five players, maybe five players and carriers, carriers had the more bottle than anyone on the pitch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The fuck has not played since 2018 in the Premier League. I thought he was good. I think he's better than I've, I've played before Dubs because at least you know, he, he, you know, as, it, Dubs is great on the on the line, instinctive shot stopper. Apart from that, useless. Um, maybe not useless, but anyway, not not. I thought Carriers did well, but anyway. So and then and then Barnes Barnes for me needs to play needs to play above Miggy, even though I know he yeah. prefers Miggy because he's got the left foot to cut in, but you know he needs to play. And then finally, Gordon, I thought Gordon works his bollocks off, as he always does. Gordon does not leave anything out on that pitch, and he never bottles it. And that's the biggest thing I can say about him. You know, he might not have the best game every game, but he fucking grafts, you know what I mean? Like, um, yeah. that's about it. Um, well, uh, Mason, welcome to the show, brother. What is, what is your assessment of tonight's game? Eh, uh, oh. Fairly disappointing, but I feel, I feel, but I felt like I was we well. I think everybody probably would have expected that. Um, but just disappointing we didn't do anything. Hardly done any, anything in the game, which was peeing us off. Um, but yeah, some of them players didn't play good enough, apart from the uh, Collius. I'm with it when he came on. Yeah. I mean, it, it was, to be honest with you, I mean, people, I, I, and I'm going to say this because I have been calling for a change or something that, um, something to change things up, something not so generic every week. And now people are going to say more than likely that, well, there you go. We got a little in so that, and we got, and we got batter. Um, and I don't think we we got killed for that. I think uh, if Byrne was on the pitch, it would have been the same thing. Uh, I'll be honest. I mean, Derek Derek thinks that that they wouldn't have scored the first goal, but uh, I mean, to be honest with you, we had no attitude, which is the number one thing that you cannot uh, it, it it cannot be debated over. Players can you no matter if you're if you play horrible, no matter if you're hurt, no matter your attitude can never be negotiated. You have to have attitude when you step on the pitch. And the attitude of the players, I will be. This is this is on Eddie Howe's, um, on in favor of him. You as a player, you cannot jump on the pitch with this type of attitude, playing against a team that competes for the Premier League. Oh wait, you cannot do that. And I, to be honest with you, it was a shameful match. These players, watch this back. I'm sure they're gonna watch it back and say, you know what, we were completely shite from zero. To whatever the last minute was, because that that goal was nothing. That goal was that, that goal was scored. I mean, it shows that, that Willock should have been in the game earlier, maybe uh, instead of coming on every minute. But you know what I mean? It, it it's, it's so much. Of what man? Come on, they should have scored five, six goals. Let's be honest with each other. They should have scored. Five if, it was, if it wasn't if it wasn't for Carrius, they'd have they'd have been five nil up in thirty minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna tell you this, Ian. It's a sackable. It's a sackable match. 
We are we on it? I'm not saying that Hopefully. that we would sack him or Eddie Howe, but if we were up, if they were up five six nil in 30 minutes, come on, come on. Anybody, you know? Hey Sam, if, tell you what, yeah, okay. if we don't beat Blackburn. He's in. He's in trouble. If we don't beat Blackburn, but yeah. if we don't beat, if we don't beat Blackburn, I mean, he on. is in trouble because I'm. He's, <laughs> he's just. Uh, He's he's just spoken there before Eddie Howe. That's why I was off camera watching it. Um, what he said was Eddie Howe. He said, "Look, first half he says we were disappointed. He says we could have done better, um, and we just let Arsenal get on top of us." He says, second half I thought we came out and played better." Mm. He says, and then I made a change, and then he says, "Then we had the sucker punch of the third goal." He says, and it just knocked the wind out of our sails, and. Um, he says it upset the rest of the game for us, but he says, um, he says, but I would definitely say second half we were a little bit, we were a lot better than we were in the first half. And that was well, coming from Eddie Howe. Well, I but you think... see, next three games, we've got Blackburn away, obviously in the cup. Then we've got Wolves at home, Chelsea away, then Palace. Um, and Palace are under well, a new manager. Well, you know, you know what, you know, but but you know what though? I mean, to be honest, at this point in time, uh, well, yeah, for the sake of having shows, we're gonna get on here and we're gonna say, you know what, these few matches are are the teams that we can beat, and this ones you need to be careful, and we're gonna do all that, but it doesn't matter. I mean, we we you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. We play shite against Luton, shite against Bournemouth, shite against um, a part against Nottingham Forest, uh, and then you know, and today was the the worst game I've seen. In the, in, in the last mm. two or three years, uh, and definitely this is the takeover. So I've got I've got Sean Longstaff's stats here from this game. If you want to hear them, well, yeah, um, I guess you, I guess you, I, I guess you wanna wanna number of touches destroy my 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 my, my 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 blood pressure. Right, ninety minutes he played, number of touches thirty six all game. Fuck he me. had seventy four percent accurate passes, twenty out of twenty seven were accurate. Uh, two out of three long balls were accurate. Uh, no shots at goal, no shots off target. Um, he won three out of four ground duels. He didn't win his aerial duels and he lost possession nine times and he was fouled twice. He made one block shot, one interception and one tackle apparently according to Sova score. And that that's for, um, as I say, that, that's for Sean Longstaff. Now, if I give you Carius, Loris Carius, um, you know, Statistics. Uh, he made four saves. Um, he made two out of two successful runouts. He made one high claim, three saves from inside the box. He had 43 touches, so more than long staff. Um, 17 out of 31 passes were accurate, so 55% ratio. Um, long balls, four out of 18 were accurate. He made one clearance. So, yeah, he had a good game, Carrius. Harris is, I mean, I, I don't think that Dubravka did anything to leave. Obviously, he's sick, but, you know, I think that Dubravka is going to come on next match because he didn't do anything to be to be sacked. And I think that Karius was obviously, uh, I mean, if it wasn't for Karius, if it I'll wasn't play, for I'll Karius, play Karius again. I'll let me tell you again. I, I, I would, honestly, I would play Karius before Dubs. Really you know, you, yeah, but you know, you know why I would go for that if I'm Eddie Howe. If Eddie Howe has any, well, listen, Eddie... If Eddie watch what he's gonna watch this game over, and he's gonna say, "Carius is the reason why I still have a job." Carius, do you know I'm what he telling. did? And I was watching it when I was watching it with Tommy and like Emily and my stepdad were watching it, and I said, "You can see Carius." So when the ball's in midfield, in their half, which wasn't very wasn't very often, <clears throat> you can see Carius because he's there. He's, he's he's not sat back sitting on his hands shitting himself in case he has to come out. You know, the good thing for me that Car- the best thing that Carrius did today was he was always alert to to that ball over the top, which which Dubravka isn't. Yeah, mm. you know what I mean. Now the only time that the ball over the top did us was when the defenders were shite, and it was never really over the top. It was always little dinky balls, not like the. Fucking Liverpool long ball, but in you know what I mean that they did us with little dinky balls, and that was because 
there's there's two main reasons to do it, in my opinion, which is an unscholared, you know, I I'm, I'm just, I just watch football and I love it, right? My opinion is, long staff, we played with ten men today. He did as I all as I've said, and I fucking love long staff, and it sickens me to say it, but he did nothing today. My mum might as well have been on that pitch, you know. She she would well she certainly would have had a worse attitude than him and she'd have kicked more players definitely you know what I mean and, um, yeah and that's what you need to do in the midfield man if you listen if you, you know like if a midfielder who's meant to be you know his job for us is meant to be closing down all right yes he plays that sort of pseudo number eight role because he can't can't really defend but he's his what what we were so brilliant was was getting his foot in. You know, winning the second ball, kicking people, like, you know, passing the ball to somebody who can actually play football. You know what I mean? Like, the odd good ball through or whatever. I never seen him play a single fucking... Like, I, Tony said he'd played three long balls. I don't know where he fucking played him to. Back to back to fucking Carrius, maybe. I didn't see him... I literally didn't see him doing anything. You know, and um, just so disappointing. But and, and, and the worst thing about it is, is, like, he didn't turn up. Him and Miggy have both dropped off a cliff for me. Neither of them should be in that team. I'd put Lewis all on the left-hand side of the midfield and just play him. He can't do any worse, right? Stick, stick, fucking the young lad back over on the right hand play side. Bond. Play Barnes. Play Barnes out, out, out on the wing. Well, you know, yeah. just obviously the for the the starting eleven, not one single player played uh, seven points according to Sofa Score, um, and Batman. Five, and we're gonna do the we're gonna do the the player scores. Spotman got a five. Spotman got a five. They were very generous. Yeah. honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna do the the player scores. We're gonna do all that in this in this match reaction. Uh, we got we got still uh, uh you know time to go, but I want to I want to give the fans their their say, read their comments. Uh, and uh, Mad Max says, even in all, don't know what hurts the most, the loss of no or knowing we are never going to hear the last about Burns' assist. And super safe uh, from War Derek. Only joking. Yeah. Now well, Derek, we Derek, had, Derek had their say. He's on. The, he's he's watching right now. Uh, and you know he he said it. He said it earlier on that uh, he, he said all that. But to be honest with you, hey, Roy, he's not wrong. Burn was yeah. decent when he came on. Yeah, but Roy, what would have happened if uh, if no, uh, he, he did, Dan Burn did a huge fuck up towards the end, and then he made for it because he cleared the ball off the line. Yeah, and that he was on yeah. like five minutes already with one mistake. Uh, okay, he crossed the ball. I I could have crossed that ball, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, but by the way, uh, we got we got ninety one people watching right now. Please smash the like button. Let's get uh, to as many as we can. Think, Subscribe to the show. Yeah, Roy. I I, I don't wanna. Um, Ian, you were wrong about playing with ten men. I think we're playing with nine men because Miggy was just as bad as. No, 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 I agree. Yeah, well, totally, why, yeah. why, why won't? I mean, why would? Hold on, let, let me get at least like five or six comments that way, people. Uh, Julie says that was a shower of shite. Yep. We were. Uh, yeah. Beer Viking, that oh, was well, awful. Well, I Jordy don't think Red anyone's going to come up with anything positive today. Yeah. Besides Jordy it. Revolution, yeah. we actually yeah. needed this massive reality check. Didn't want it, but we needed it. Alessandro Minetti, Kepena brother. Like, you know, what a shame uh, in Spanish. Uh, Lee G was, was, was a hard game to watch, but te, probably. Te quiero comer. Yeah, well, well yeah. I won't translate that. <laughs> uh that's a that's uh that's, that's for the after hour show uh yeah. Liji, Liji said what was a hard game to watch but probably an expected result uh julie j says undecided on how now Ooh, fans are turning farmer says well, uh if you have told me that cario's burn and willock would be up for man of the match i would have turned in my li driver's license uh you shouldn't yeah. have one anyway you're always stoned <laughs> <laughs> hey, Varma is as a top guy, but uh, Beers says no leadership tonight. Julio Giordio, however, I'm saying how needs to go at the end of the season. I'm saying, I'm assuming he's saying, uh, entry am I big up entry am I on the chat? Says, why is everyone so shocked? Whatever, uh, whatever team we put out, it, this is this is going to happen. Whoa, no, that's a no, pretty, pretty much the same team as last year when we drew nil nil yeah. apart from uh, Julie, Julie J. Longstaff, oh, been invisible, been invisible the last few games. Ronald Wood, what about taking Dan Byrne out? 
uh, a shite decision. Well, when some fans are turning on, on the decision to take it was burnout, and we got the 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 founder <laughs> of uh, <Fuck>. the <laughs> the Dan Burn, uh, you know, fans club, the one and only Derek. <laughs> he didn't even put his teeth on for this he's one. On he, he doesn't wait, wait, give a damn because he didn't even put wait. his teeth on for this one. He only, he only likes. <laughs> He only likes Dan Burn. I'm I can only say three. I'm I'm coming on for two seconds just to say the reason I'm, that I haven't been on is not because we're going to beat. That's bollocks. Yeah. The reason I'm not coming on is because of the signal here is shite. It's, it's good enough. It's good enough you... to watch you guys, what? but it is good enough to stream. But why are you anywhere? Let me ask you this. I can see Mason Ray and Tony in a minute. I can't see you. I can't see Ian. Well, that's that's a bonus anyway. Why? But let me ask you, Derek. Derek, let me ask you this, Mr. Roshi. Let me ask you this. Why? Why are you in the pub? None of them lasses want you anyway. Just go home and take your beer with you. What's the point? Why are you in Pennywell with me I'm fucking right, signal? I am well loved in my <laughs> We lost. This is how you show your commitment. We lost. We're shite, and you don't want to go and get it properly. No, no, that's, that's, that's exactly no, why no. I've just come on. Right now, you're making, you're making small when, when appearances that people don't take serious. The reason I've come on is because you had the audacity to send me a message saying, oh, you don't come <laughs> on. Speak. Nonsense. <laughs> I'm just the saying, reason, man. The reason I don't, didn't come on, and and uh, I'm standing here now in the fucking lobby of the club. How and much is the beer? Pint, how much is the beer in there? there when I go in, I can't get a signal. How much is a pint in the club? You what, sorry? How much is a pint in the club? <laughs> Fuck Three pounds fifty. Good. Fuck off, get one then. See you later. Twelve fifty. Twelve fifty. Oh my God! You need to leave, man. They're ripping you off. I thought you just said twelve fifty. Three fifty, man. Three pound fifty. Two pound twenty in Pennywell. No, you you can't. Hey, but listen, we're gonna do we're gonna do the player scores. You want to stay for that? All right, go on. I'll go on. I'll see about that. All right, we're gonna do that. Good lad, Derek. Good lad. We're gonna we're gonna see that you gotta show your commitment to the channel, man, because right now you only show up when when you know when we're just all right. Which when Dan Burn, exactly when Dan, why I came on because you said I only show up when we're when only Dan Burn plays, you show up. But uh when he doesn't he only sings when he's winning. <laughs> exactly, man. Um all right, listen, keep dropping your comments. We're gonna show them all in in, in a minute. Well, show them, yeah, and, and read a couple of them. But um Oh, let me try to see. let me try to go back and say. By the way, shout out to Tune Mick for subscribing. That's the only one that I, that I've seen pop up. Obviously, there are more subscribing, but you know, I appreciate your support as usual. And please smash the like button. Uh, that way, we can we can keep growing the channel. Um, all right, let's get started. Loris Carius. They gave him a six point four. Right? I would have given him a, a, a fifteen. You know what I mean? It's no, but anyways. Uh, let me start with Roy. Roy Carius. I'll, I'll I'll give him a seven. You can't let four goals in even though it's not his fault so i'll give him a seven four four good saves and i think he commanded his right. i'm not going to say he commanded the back four in front of him better but he was doing the sweeping keeping much better than dubravka so i think I, I for me now i don't think we should see dubravka in goal again so i'll, I'll give him a seven I would have given it a nine. I wouldn't have given it a nine if it was just two nil. But you can't let in four goals in and uh, just seven is good. All Trust right. me, um, that's gonna be my highest score today. Okay. <laughs> um Tony, what uh, what are your thoughts on Karius score wise? Do you know what I thought you had a I thought you had a decent game. He made some great saves in that game and you know he kept the score down and uh look he wasn't to blame for the goals, absolutely not. Um and I thought his decision making was pretty good. The runs out he did. Um, I thought his distribution weren't too bad. Um, I think Derek pulled. You no, know for for the sa- for the sa- <laughs> I think for the saves he's made. Um, uh, yeah, I'll give Carius a seven. Yeah. Yeah. All right, seven is fine. Uh, Mason. 
I'll go with seven as well. Okay. Uh, Ian? I'm going eight. Do you know why I'm going eight? Because he deserves a seven. Yeah. None of the goals were his fault, so we can't mark him down for that. And all the talk before on was that he's not played in the Premier League since 2018. And is he going to have the balls? Is he going to have the bollocks to fucking stand there and do it? Is he going to lose his bottle? He's one of the few players on that pitch who didn't bottle it. And there was at least five or six players on that pitch that fucking dropped their asses today and he wasn't one of them. Um, he was let down by his defence. So he's getting a seven for his performance, but an eight for having a pair of fucking bollocks. Yeah. Um, well, they might win. What about Derek? I mean, what about uh, Karis? Sorry. Uh, uh, well, comfortable eight for me. You know, I, I don't. Think, I don't think he did anything wrong at all. You know, you can argue, you can argue that he shipped four goals, but that's what everybody's been saying about Dubs for the last whatever number of weeks. He's shipping goals. It's not his fault. It'd be a frigging cricket I, I, score I, I, if Dubs was in there. I can't think of what, which, which one of those goals would you say was down to Carriers? Well, no. probably the, the the fourth one or the, the third one, the, the one that slips through his hands. Goals. No, right, that was deflected that about a meter. But, but, yeah. I'm, I'm just, that that, I mean, that was purely because Saka Scantino, who everybody yeah, said, yeah, yeah, no, 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 Piggy. No. Burning against you. I would just uh, be you picky. I would just be uh, picky. He, he couldn't have done anything with those goals. I would just no, be no, picky, no. man. Relax, old man. I would just be picky. <laughs> but 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 you're right. You're right. I mean, I, I will tell you this. Uh, and you know, Julie says, "F in seven pounds a pint." Yeah, yeah. Well, you didn't say. You said twelve. That's twelve fifty nine. <laughs> no, it's three fifty. Are you? Are you at? Are you at, are you at no, 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 no. I'm going to go back in, right? Uh, and and then I'll not be able to talk to you because I can't hear you. Okay. But, okay. But I'll, I'll I'll give you the I'll give you the whole the whole team. The whole team, apart from Dan Byrne, because he came on, made the goal in the few minutes he had left. He never got he never got beat. And uh, so apart from Dan Byrne, uh, Carrius in it, Dan Byrne in it for his cameo performance. The rest of the team fucking four. They were rubbish. And anyhow, <laughs> anyhow, anyhow. What's your score? What's your score? He has an exclusive for you, Chris. There anyhow, zero. <laughs> zero. For his team selections, for not going, for not changing the formation when I said I've been saying all weekend if we play Miley, Bruno, and Longstaff in the middle, we'll get slaughtered. Which is exactly what happened. Exactly what happened. And minus points for substituting, you know, humiliating Bruno and Botman, bringing them off. Uda, Uda, and Botman needed to come off. Botman was shite, though. Anyway, yeah, Botman. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, oh, man. I got I'm you. Not, oh, man, go to the house right now. Go to the house. Let's, let us I'm just ask this one question. This is dead Botman important. I'm not telling you Botman was poor. Forget, forget the football. He had, he forget had the football. Came back from injury. Hold but, on, but, but, but you do not humiliate him like that. Okay, all forget right. the football. Del, marks out of 10 for the barmaids in the that's club. All, that's all I have oh, to yeah. say. <laughs> hey, Derek, go to the oh, house. Get man. The out, man. Go to the house, old oh, man, and get on. Uh, by the way, I didn't. That was, a, that was a top question, that Chris. He, he didn't. He can't hear us. Oh, wait, Chris, that was a top question, that mind. Yeah, yeah, I know, but he he couldn't hear us. But you know what? Hopefully, he gets on. He goes to his house. <clears throat> Somebody sent me this and said this is Derek. I don't know. Yeah, but, <laughs> I don't, but yeah, I'm not going to say that. Christ. I'm just showing it. I don't know if if some if you watch Dragon Ball, you know who that is. Um, but anyways, let's go. Let's get, let's continue to go with the players. Um, we we got caught up with Karis. Uh, and by the way, people, let us know your score as well in the chat. I want to know what you think. Um, let's. Man, this is not going to be good. Uh, oh, big up Russ Morgan. Just subscribe to the show. Appreciate you, Russ. Um, I don't think we can. It doesn't matter who we start. They were both shite. Uh, but let's go with Shar. Roy. Three. Um, one of his worst games for Newcastle today. Um, yeah. Well, the positioning was shit, but that ball he passed to Odegaard. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, three. Can't. Just um, yeah. bad day in the office for him, really. It's probably one of his worst games for us. Even worse than um, the Brighton one or Villa last season. Thing is, uh, Luton scored four against us as well. So something wrong well, down that, there. Yeah, you know what? That is that is yeah. that is a fair that is a fair perspective. Please, people, smash the like button. I know you you might be asking no. why do you why the hell do you keep asking that? I, the I, only I way love him. Grow the show. Yeah, I love him, but three today. All right, Char three. Um, uh, Tony, uh, what do you think on on Char? Um, <clears throat> weren't his best game to be honest with you. Um, yeah, the, there wasn't a lot there. I'll, I'm probably going to be generous. Yeah, I'm just going to see a four. I think you're <laughs> slightly, <laughs> slightly better than Botman, slightly, but not a lot yeah. better. Although you know, him and Trippier were so far apart for that second goal. Um, yeah. I, I'll give him a four. Well, Julie says uh, Shar won, and that's just for being a handsome bastard. But, <laughs> but yeah, I guess that you know we get to get get as many points as we can for any reason. Mason, uh, what is your score for Shar? I've already got my two and a half. Yeah, my boy was poor. Yeah, my two. Man, that's crazy, man. Uh, you know the fact that we're saying two, one, three. Yeah. That's just that minor. And I'm not saying anything about you guys. I'm saying because everybody in the chat, two, four. Two, it's just the um, the the bad, it's such a bad game that we just played. Man, uh, it was because we conceded four, and it could have been nine or ten. Well, I could they, they played, like I'm saying to Russ Morgan, the Virgin in the chat there. <laughs> yeah, well said. Yeah, he's he's yeah, come yeah. on and like and giving it the big and all that's revenge. You don't need revenge. Like we beat you that day. You beat us there this day. No and I tell you what, yeah. your team were really good today, and you're not going to win the Premier League. But you're yeah. not going to win the Premier League, and they're not going to win yeah, the league. Well, it don't matter I, if they win the Premier League. I'll, 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 I won't give two shits either way. But little fucking stupid little like virgin comments like that prove you just need to fucking concentrate more on getting a girlfriend. And that's the thing. That's crazy. The fact that he took, the he took the time, he took the time to subscribe, admit, comment, not... and he's going to unsubscribe, and which oh, is like perfect with me. Yeah, like you took all that effort, and we, when you should be trying to get laid, which is not going to happen. Anytime. Exactly. Uh, but He's anyway. never going to get his dick wet. Never. It's not, <laughs> anyway. not only the league. They're not even going to win the cup or the Champions League. No, no. Not even in the Epic Cup. Well, they're out no, of the cup. Anyway. The epic. And in a couple uh, of weeks. All right, so. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. Uh, Ian, what's your score on Shar? Uh, Shar was, the, I think, the worst game I've seen him play under Eddie out today. He, I don't think Botman helps him much, but he was also equally, oh, marginally less shit than Botman. I'll probably give him a three. Three, all right. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say fucking zero. All, all of them. Uh, <laughs> including fucking their mama. Uh, you know. What? <laughs> yeah. Um, let's go. Well, Sven Batman. Roy. I gave Shah three, so I'm going to give him a two because he was worse. And I'm glad that he took him off because I think some players need that slap wake up call. Um, he's, he's been shit for weeks now. I don't know, is he injured or attitude or I don't know what's wrong with him. Yeah, just two. I'm being generous as well. Uh, Tony? Yeah, Botman, <clears throat> not great today. Um, not the Rolls Royce defender we've seen in the past. Definitely not much of shadow of that. Uh, Ford for yesterday. I'm going to be, I could be, I'm going to be really, I'm, it sounds like I'm going to be really harsh here, yeah? but I'm not because on the basis of what he played, I'm giving him one. And I said that's being harsh, but yeah, sometimes well, you've got to be harsh. Yeah. you got to be, yeah. Uh, Mason. I can with two because I thought I agree with Roy. I thought he was the worst out of the pair. Um, yeah, not good enough, and something's not right with him at the moment. Right. I got a feeling something's going, something's going on behind the scenes. Um, Ian, two, two. All right, let's go with Kieran Trooper on the right, left, on the right, on the right back, <laughs> right, left back. I was gonna say, uh, yeah, but uh, Roy, uh, Roy. Um, five. 
Um, at fault for one of the goals, but um, but he's got Miggy in front of him and long stuff, and they're doing all these little triangle passes, and yeah, not 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 happening really. Um, yeah, just a five. It was okay. Uh, Tony, what do you think, Trippier? Uh, Trippier, he's trying all. He tried everything, didn't he? Trippier, he tried to get down and try to get balls in, and um, I was. Do you know what? I think Trippier tried and tried to lead as well. So I'll, I'll give Trippier a six. All right. Yep. Yeah. Um, Mason. I'll give him a five. Um, I thought he tried his tried his best. I thought he I thought he tried tonight. But, but I had a little doubt that he was going to get to and take off early for what happened for the discomfort he's in. But luckily enough, he did manage to make for the game, which was interesting. Yeah. Um, I'm only going five. I'll give Trippier a six. I mean, um, to me, uh, he was he was almost he was in the picture in a few defensive uh, plays and some goals. But honestly, I will say this: he was to me non-existent. And what what I mean with that is, I didn't even notice him. Um, maybe from through the commentary, I just didn't hear his name. I I, I just you know what I mean? Like it's just he wasn't um, one of the players that I was. Uh, that I remember even playing. If you tell me he didn't play, I, I would agree with you. But uh, we're waiting on Ian to come back. Um, David R says Botman had had cruciate ligament injury, or he's asking that. He says he doesn't look the same player since returning. Clearly, something isn't right with him, and he is immense when fully fit. But uh, to be honest with you, I don't know, man. I, I'm not. I'm not going to use that because I don't know. And if he's playing every game, well, I mean, you know what I'm saying. Like I, I just don't know. I, I'm not gonna blame his mishap on, on uh, on injury. He played horrific today, and uh, he's played great when he's he's been back too. So it's not just, uh, you know what I mean. He's in, and that's after the injury. So, uh, Stu MC's oh Stu MC. Okay, Stu MC says, Eddie Howe once again showing, cloth, and Robson the last two this is an English coach, coaches well Robson of course. Uh, his arrogance using burn and long stuff is clueless and blind monkey and uh, a blind monkey would sign trips botman and bruno and isaac um he says also but once again Carr and neville will say he needs time uh well it, 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 I, i'll tell you this i'll tell you this i mean I, and, and tony myself we we actually did a, a, a private uh a watch along you know virtual pub that might go for the members of the show uh, haven't decided yet, but uh, we were talking about it, and we said, you know, this match is going to be really, really tough for for how, and if the next one doesn't go well, uh, it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how it works. But Ian, uh, what's your score on Trippier? Uh, six. All right. I thought uh, I thought he did his he did his best, but he was let down by the two centre backs and Miggy, and he's playing with no Miggy. He was useless. No long stuff. He was useless. Cher was playing left back for some reason after time. He was on the other side of the pitch and um, and Botman was I don't know what he was doing. So he was he he, he did make a mistake or two, but like you're gonna make mistakes when you've got no no teammates around you. Right. Um now let's go with Tino Livramento on the left back position. Uh Roy. Um five as well. Got skinned once, but um I think he was he was better than what Dan Byrne usually does there. So I think, again, Dan Byrne should have started there. Um, the way he got skinned, it doesn't matter. It, it could, this could have been Maldini or somebody. He would have been skinned. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, so, sorry, Derek. Um, I mean, Saka can skin anyone. So, yeah, I'll give him a five. It wasn't, it was, it wasn't that bad. He did one mistake, but. Yeah. Well, no, I, I, I do, I do count a mistake. He didn't. He was good going forward a bit, but we played yeah. a stronger. Team. Yeah. Uh, he, he should have spiked the ball, man. I, I, I just, I won't move from that. I move away from that. I think he should have spiked the ball, but then again, it's, it's uh, milliseconds 
Uh, and yeah. so, but it is what it is. I, I mean, five isn't is good enough. But when when somebody rarely plays, anyway, you, you need to be match. Uh, you lose That's your great. sharpness and stuff. And then he hasn't yeah. played for about a month. Yeah. So um, it's not bad. Tony, Tony Livermento. Livermento. Look, he tried. Um, he did try and get down the wing as well, didn't he? A bit as well, but look. Not blaming him for the first goal because he was trying to get it, he was trying to control the ball and as I say it was bobbling all over the place. Um Livermento. I'm not gonna give him a harsh mark down at. Um he tried, and that's all you can ask for. I'll give him a five. Uh Mason Livermento, what do you think? I'll go with Tony. I'll, go, I'll, go, I'll give him a five. All right. Uh, Ian? Um, I thought, to be honest, yeah, the mistake was a mistake. But I thought, apart from that, he was assured on the ball. He looked good. The main thing he did was he actually showed for the ball, you know. And again, he was let down by the fact that, like, you know, Botman and Cher were doing next to nothing. I thought he linked up quite well. Actually, I was like really happy at the when, on the few occasions that we actually managed to get the ball forward. I thought he, he, him, he could get a really nice partnership going in a three. Um, with if Miley is on the left hand side or Willock preferably on the left hand side of that three in the midfield, um, and then Gordon. I thought he played really well with Gordon. I'm going to give him a six, and um. And I'm not like being rules. I I actually think he's a he he is going to be a brilliant footballer for us. And uh, again, he was just let down today. He you know the, all I wanted to see today was let's not embarrass ourselves after after we went two 0 down, and he actually had the bollocks to show for the ball, which a lot of other more senior players didn't. So he's getting a six from me. Yep. Um, all right, let's go to the midfield. Shong Long, Steph, uh, Roy. Zero. <laughs> well, you're as simple as that. Pure shit. Um, yeah. I, I I can call it coward football. Really, he just, he's, not, he's not there. I mean, he passes. You can pass the ball a hundred times sideways and backwards, and pass it back to me. Uh, but he didn't even do that, Roy. He passed it thirty odd yeah. times, whatever it was. So, shit. I mean, if if you put him up for sale for twenty million, no one's gonna buy him. Um, okay, okay. I'm, Eric, I'm, Eric. I'm, try, I'm, try, I'm trying to think which team would buy him. Derek wants now. wants forty million at least. For those there. Mate, I'm telling you now. <laughs> I work for I work for the Arabic club, and he won't get a game for us. <laughs> We've got our, our two midfielders. One Asian. They play for Qatar the national team, and they won the Asian cup. Look at people, one of them, people. Hey, let me tell you, the fans are speaking, yeah. and uh, yeah. they're saying one, two, zero. <laughs> Man, oh, he's, not, you know, he, he's, he's a he's a fucking robot. He plays like a fucking robot, but without batteries. <laughs> he's got. He's got. He, he's, it's not this. It's um, you know, if you bring a kid from Brazil from the streets and he's twelve or fourteen and he's got skill, and then you bring him. To an academy in in Europe or somewhere, and then they can give him the physicality and stuff, and then he's got the skill. He can turn into a Joe Linton kind of thing. Long scarf has got nothing, so he's just a robot. Pass yeah. the ball sideways, backwards, run, physical. He's not even physical anyway. Slow offers nothing. Last season's uh, last season's long stuff. Purple patch. Player. Yeah. Or the or before or with them. Um, Rafa before he got injured in his knee, but yeah, well, yeah, his brother was the same as well for a bit, and then he Matty. Was... Um, all right, well, oh. Tony, what do you think about long stuff, man? He was shaved today, absolutely. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and, um, you know, wax lyrical about me. He was absolutely crap. Um, 36 touches all game for a midfielder, that's not good enough, is it? Um, no, and you know, maybe a lot of his accurate passes were because he was passing back to somebody or passing next to him. But uh, yeah, giving 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 Bruno fucking death balls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like they, um, they go, mate. Sort it out. 
Yeah, yeah it was yeah, like that. Yeah, absolutely. Two, two, two people just about crunched the fuck out your Achilles tendons. You know what I mean? Mm. I'll take, I'll that, take care. It's like Roy says he's like a fucking robot. What are you today? You know, um, like a shit robot. Man, there was, I mean, you know who did that last week? It was um, Fabian Shea passed one, passed the ball to Bruno, and that that player uh, almost stabbed him. And uh, today, I mean, a fucking, uh, I mean, a fucking the, the, tortoise would have had more touches than Longstaff today. Let's yeah. be honest. Today, uh, and that's saying something. For, for the biggest culprits today for fucking Bruno over. Where I would see centre backs. Hey, hey, hold yeah. on. I want to. I want to. I want to give a so, big round of applause. Long big staff, round of applause to the mighty win for for showing up. He went. He finally left the strip club. Went back to the house for the channel. Appreciate it, man. So, Listen. So yeah, for long right. staff. Um. What's the score? I'm going to be kind here. I suppose. I suppose you could say I'm being kind. Um. Got a warning of the long staff. Sean Longstaff gets a one. He That's was shocking. Kind. Shite. Right and hey. I've told you, Ryan, I'm going to be kind. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, I want him gone in the summer. Like I said on my pre-match show, I would quite happily get rid of Longstaff in the summer. If we get $25 million for him, snap the hands off and take it. Well, no, don't Absolutely. say that too loud. Don't say that too 25. loud. They might have won once. 25 is too much. You won't I get think 40 million because he's only got a year left on his deal. Yeah. So there's no way you're no. going to get 40 million. I tell you this, uh, uh, just I had to do this, but it, this is not me, uh, Derek. Somebody said this is you. Uh, but uh, I'm not, I'm not going, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't, I'm not for that. The, the, I don't... the only time I, the only time I ever had whiskers was during COVID. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, everybody said long step zero oh, for the most part. Oh. But, but Ian, I want to I want to get your score, man. What was your score on long, on Sean? Um, one. I'll give him one for that that naughty tackle that he did when he crunched that player in the first half. All right. Apart from that, I can't remember anything he did. So he's getting one. Yeah. Can I just ask? Um, can I just ask Derek the question he couldn't hear before though? Yeah. yeah. So Derek, what I asked you before when you were in the club was. I went. Forget all the players. Uh, forget all the players' scores. What are the scores of the barmaids in your club? <laughs> oh, ten out of ten, both of them. Wow. <laughs> both of them. One, 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 out of, one out of ten oh, yeah. by Tommy and Stewart, but ten out of ten by the barmaid. Do I? <laughs> there we go. Uh, Mason, what's the what's the score on long stuff, brother? Te quiero mojaita. Hey, Roy, shut the hell no. up. Somebody, somebody no. is going to understand this in Spanish and report us to fucking Google. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you're right. I do like him like that. Uh, yeah. Anyways, Mason, what's the score, mate? Two. Two on long stuff. All right. Um, I thought he was shit. He I was, literally he thought he was shit. Um, there might be. Mighty win. Uh, what's your score and long stuff, mate? Well, Say what you guess, because I'm going to put this on the clip. You know, too. you know, it, it is it is kind of a so, but but that's not that's Stone Eddie, man. Hey, sorry, no, no, no. sorry. If, uh, no, the no. players, the players did did mess up a lot, but just yeah, no. We're gonna get back to that. We're gonna we're gonna finish. We're he gonna put, give our finishing he, thoughts. He put, he put one half decent tackle in, and he put a nice ball through for um. Who was it again? Oh, it's Gordon. And he put a good good ball through for Gordon. Yeah. Uh, but apart from that, just yes, what I've said for for months and months and what I, I you know. When I finally said I, I, I was gonna, I, I must be wrong about long stuff. I must be thick because I don't understand what he does. But we don't perform the same when he's in this in the team than we do without. But that was with a proper midfield, and yeah. you know, you, you just realise now that that was because the midfield that we had then was covering for him all the time. Um, Joe Linton, include Joe Linton and Bruno, because yeah, well, Bruno Joe and, Linton, Willick. I mean, look at Willick when he came on, man. He, he was he was fine, and that's why I said he should have started. If you take and Bruno, and that's he should have started as well. 
because and Burn, and, and Burn would, plays... That, that, that would have been the only circumstance, mm. and, uh, you know, you can look back, and I, that's exactly what I said. The only circumstance that I would have put Tino in is playing a back five with long staff dropped if, if, if Isaac and Willock were both starting. Yeah. And if they were both starting, having Willock in the midfield would have given some uh, energy to the midfield to protect the defence. And when he didn't start, for me, starting Liveramento instead of Burn. In, in that same 4 3 3, was never going to work. I've said all weekend, we'll, if, if we play those three in midfield, we'll get destroyed. And that's exactly what happened. All right. Uh, let's move on from Longstaff. Uh, let's go with Bruno Gimaraes. What's the score, Roy? Um, I'll give him a seven as well. Um, he's the only outfield player who tried anything. Yeah. Um, but he can't do it all. He's, he can't do it by himself. He's surrounded by shit. Um, and he's, the only negative was he, he looked a bit, he was pulling back a bit because of that yellow card again. But I think I think if he, if he didn't have that yellow card on, he would have been more aggressive a bit. But yeah, um, seven or six, so I'll, I'll, I'll just give him a seven because... He's probably the best player of the match. He, he's, a, you know, he's the best outfield player. I still think the keeper was the best one. Right. Um, Tony? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, he tried, Bruno, didn't he? he yeah. um, not that he got a lot of sniff, but out of Arsenal. But, um, yeah, I mean, look, um, tried all he could. Um, yeah, I, I'd give Bruno seven all day. I, you know, he was definitely the best of the midfield three, that's for sure. Um but it's just the fact is we're still leaving this gap between midfield and defence. Um, but, yeah, a seven for me for Bruno. Ian, uh, Bruno Gimaraes. Oh, I've got me a, a, a little Bruno water ball. Nice Let's one, see. Ian. It she got herself a trippier one, though. And, and uh I've been teaching, she's sucking on it a little bit too much because he got this little straw thing yeah, on in there. You gotta, you gotta be careful. <laughs> you gotta be careful, man. Trippier is known for <laughs> Don't you allegedly Trippier's main Ian. Anyways, uh well, it's, it's a it's a water bottle, so it's not gonna get used very much, is it? So anyway. <laughs> All right, um Yeah. Um <laughs> what do you think on on uh was where we yeah, Bruno, Bruno Gimaraes. Score on Bruno. Could not have done much more than he did today. Um, he well, he was he, there was a two man midfield today, and he was the best out of the two that were in that midfield. Yeah, there's long stuff on there. Um, I'd give him a seven. All right, Mason, what's your score on, on Bruno? I'll give him a six. I'll give him a six. Okay, uh, the mighty win. Well, it's what I said when I left the club. When I gave them at the start, I said, there's, there's nobody worth more than a four apart from me, uh, from so Gordon. We're, so we're just going to skip you? You want us to skip you the whole time? Should be uh, responsible for the second goal. Uh, I know, but we're uh, Bruno, man. So you say four. Well, well you just said long. You just said trivia? No, I said Bruno. <laughs> no, you said trivia? No, you're hearing things. But if you're, if you're talking about uh, Bruno, I'll give Bruno a, a four. I'll give, right. I'll give, I'll give every, every outfield player a four. Okay. But apart got... from Dan Byrne when he came on and right. uh, Gordon. I thought Gordon did what he could. He wasn't giving the ball often enough. Yeah. And when he got the ball, he made things happen a little bit. Okay. And there was um... nothing, nothing up front. All right, let's go. Now we're going. Oh, and no, then we still got Lewis Miley to go. So, Roy, Lewis Miley. Um, six. He um, he was um, he was okay. I don't think he's done any mistakes, has he? 
he's just a kid who's he's just a kid who's growing. Yeah. Um, his balls are bigger than Longstaff's heat. That's. Are we judging them on their age? Their or on the or on the performance. The performance. Well, if we judging you on your age, yeah. Derek, you'll get a fucking high score. Oh, I'm a, yeah. I'm a ten if I'm on my age. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm judging by his ability <laughs> and what, what he's done compared to uh, the others on the pitch. I, I he's he did any mistakes. Uh, Bruno did. <laughs> so yeah, I'll, I'll give him a six. All right, six is fair enough. Uh, Tony uh, Miley. Yeah, I thought he was okay. He didn't do a lot <clears throat> uh, wrong, did he? Really, but and he's no, only he seven. You're so he's he didn't do a lot. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, he didn't do a lot wrong. He didn't do a lot. <laughs> can't, uh, can't expect much from him. I mean, he was unlucky when the ball rebounded up and went into the goal. But you know, other than that, uh, can't take that. Can't can't put the blame on him for that. But which I'm not going to anyway. Um, look, he, he done the simple thing, so I'll give him a five. Five is fair enough. Uh, Ian, Miley. Miley's a six. Okay. Uh, Mason. I'll give him a five. I'll give him a five. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> all right, Derek, uh, what do you think going Miley? You said four, right? You're going to be... Yeah. You, you, no, 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 hold on. Because you're, 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 you're arguing with Tony... And he gave him a high score. You rated everybody as four. I'll, I'll, I'll actually give Maley a five. I thought I thought Maley was better than you Bruno. You got zero convictions, old man. Zero convictions. No, no, I thought Maley was better than Bruno. But he still wasn't good. Yeah. Okay. You know, I, I, I'm judging him on... I'm, I'm not judging Maley as Maley 17-year-old. If, if you were judging him as a 17-year-old, you could give him a, an eight or a nine. But judging his performance today and what effect it's had on the team and what we're getting from him being there, I'll give him a five. All right, fair enough. Uh, let's go to the to the forwards. Um, Miguel Almiron on the right wing position. Uh, Roy. Oh, my favorite player. We could have had a palm tree and left it right there in the middle of the pitch and it would have done a better job than he did. Minus two for that twat. <laughs> Plus, did you see that ball he missed one on one with the keeper? I don't care if it was offside or not. Wait, that, that, I'm, that, not I'm not sure if that was offside or not. But... Oh, mate, that was horrendous. Like, the it control is, it, it was, um, it's utter shit. Can't wait till he's gone. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm not a fan at all. I wasn't a fan before that purple patch. Um, sh sh shit, man. And I'm not going to say oh, he would have been better on the better on the, on the left side because he was on the left when he had that ball. Yeah, one on one with the keeper. Minus two, Miggy. Sorry if you're watching. Um, what uh, was it? Put, puto. Yeah. Burro, burro, burro. Uh, no, donkey. That, burro is burro. A dumbass. Puto yeah, don't, is uh, like burro. it yeah. could be a gigolo. Yeah. So, no, no, yeah, no, no burro, burro. Buro's better. Or, or uh, uh, the, the C word it could be that as well. Uh, but, uh, well. I was just about to say something then and I thought I better not do. If he's watching this, if he's watching this, Miggy, you're a Buro. Man, he'll never give us a book. <laughs> he'll never come on for the sit down, man. Um, Tony, what do you think? What's, what's score on um, on Miggy Almiron? Yeah. Um, look, <clears throat> not wasn't great today, was he again, you know. Um, I'd rather have seen Jacob Murphy from the start than Miggy Almiron. Um, you know, we, I know he's only on the pitch 64 minutes and had 21 touches of the ball, which is still poor, really, in it. Um, even if he did, wouldn't want an aerial duel out, out of the whole game. But look, um, for me, absolute dross, shite. Need to go in the summer. Should have gone in January. Obviously, he didn't want to go. He dug his heels in. Get rid in the summer. As far as I'm concerned, um, he's done now in the Premier League. Um, whew, I'm not going to be as harsh as Roy, giving them <laughs> minus two. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be positive. Yeah, I'll give him a zero. There you go. There you go. 
<laughs> you're nicer than great. me, man. You're nicer than five, me. Zero. No matter who no. <laughs> this is this is a shit show, man. We're giving I don't think we're giving people more than a three. Uh Ian, uh, what's your score on Miggy, man? Um, I'm gonna give him one. That's so nice that. No, no, He's no, being no, nice. No, I'm, I'm, no, I'm being nice. I'm going to give him one because I like him. I think he's a really canny lad, it's and I nice think he had a really good see. He had a good season last season, and he uh, and I'm giving him one. <laughs> I'm giving him one because he got in the position. At least he got in the position to nearly score a goal, and then obviously bollocks it up because he's Miggy and he, so like yeah. you know. But I do um, love him though. Fuck it, I yeah. love him. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, I'd love uh, to have a, co- a cup of coffee with him. Yeah. Oh, well, anyways, you say what did you say, Ian? One. Oh my god. Anyways, Mason. Zero. Shade. I agree with you. That's the problem. That I agree. Mighty Wayne, you say four, so you stay on that. What? Uh, Mighty Wayne, give everybody a four. So is that right, Derek? But he, he, he didn't get any points for being a canny lad. <laughs> I love that. Wow. I love that. The, you know what? I agree 100%. He's just Derek. fucking being we, nasty no, to no, me. No, no, listen. Der- Der- no, hold on, hold on, Derek. Derek, he didn't we get are any here. points for being you know a canny lad. He didn't get exactly. any points for smiling. Exactly, Derek. You know why? Because we are here to do a job. Uh, whoa, we got to be critical of the team. Hang on a minute. Did you watch the first half hour of the game? Why is your finger cricket, man? Did you watch the first half over the game? Me. Me. And especially the first 20 minutes. He was the only player we had that broke Arsenal's attack up. If he hadn't been there, there would have been... And by the way, that's him playing... Look what he did, though. He went... It went straight to the keeper's legs, man. I beg your pardon? He, he, he went but, to the street to keep his legs, man. I th- you, you know what I think is wrong with him? What, what are we ta- ta- sorry, Mason, what, what are we talking about here? That chance, but you've just... What you about, but, uh, well, hang on, I'm, I'm not even coming to that. That wasn't in the first 30 minutes. Okay, so his first 30 the, minutes were positive. The, 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 the chance he got... Oh, Jesus Christ. He controlled the ball brilliantly to create what the eventual chance was. And he couldn't, he, 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 he could have, in my opinion, he should have shot earlier. That's why he gets the one. That's why he gets the one. That's well, why he what? got minus two. Well, well, no, no, I'm, 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 I'm giving, I'm, I'm giving Miggy a five. But yeah. I thought he was one of our, our better players today. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, that, hey, well, that's... Then, then this is the beauty of it. You can give him what the fuck you want, can you, mate? Yeah. yeah yes, but... he, yes he, di- he, he didn't do it. But the twice, thing. by the way, twice, Isaac, who's this wonderful centre forward that we've got, who's been compared to Thierry Henry, twice, Isaac, had the ball in similar situations and didn't finish the job either. Couldn't finish his. If Isaac, if Isaac went through where Miggy went through, Isaac buries that. He would have scored that easy. Well, so he, so you see, but, and yet he didn't. I've been having this argument all night at the club. Right? They're they're all saying no, no. But what would have, what would have, what would have, what would have happened? And I'm right. saying no. I'm talking about what did, what did, what did happen. Yeah, but what did what did what did happen is Isaac's chances he created from nothing, like right he did so. some amazing skill to get into a position to shoot, and then he missed. And that's Mickey exactly was, what Miggy did. He, he, he showed Miggy's the chance Miggy had. Oh. He showed some amazing skills to control what wasn't a good ball. Was a good to control was that a good ball, ball and then ball. he missed. I would have scored that. It was a I really good. That. It was a world class ball. He he was offside anyway. You would only have scored it if you could have controlled the ball in the first instance the way Miggy Honest, did. You know, last week that, that fucking shot you had at St James's Park. Uh, well if if if, if last it, week last, if, last week if, I gave him a three. It, it, 
You were generous. He, he, well, he nearly hit the last signature week. with that fucker. Oh, yeah. He was He's been shy this season, honestly, Dale. Yeah, I'm not being honest. than last week. Yeah. Well, yeah, look, we got it. We got it. But listen, the last few weeks, Mickey's been absolutely abysmal. Yeah. But he was yeah. by no means our worst player today. By no, no means. He was. Well, it's one between of, him and Longstaff. Here's one of. I mean, he did. He can't. You can't trust him to finish a damn play, man. You know what I mean? Like, and that, and you know, everybody in the fa the fans are commenting. Uh, most of us, except you, gave him a one or a two or a zero or a minus two sum. So you come on here and say you're six. I think that people love this show because you will say anything to go against me. And that's fine. <laughs> no, like, not that show at all. Yeah. I, yeah. I say what I've just witnessed. Yeah. You speak for now, Del, don't you? All right. You so now we got to move on. We got to move on to uh, to the middle, Alexander Isak. So let's talk about that. By the way, this show is, sm is smashing our, our own records. Uh, right now, 85 people watching. We had 95 at one point. So listen, smash the like button. Let's get to as many as we can. Subscribe if you're new on, to the show. That way, you like. that way you don't miss out any more of Derek trying to go against me. Uh, you know, every show, he says the opposite of what I think. And he knows I'm right because he backed <laughs> me up. He backed me up. He backed me up on me saying that Eddie needed to change. And he said it, first of all, he said it privately because he didn't want to say it publicly. And then I forced him to say it publicly. And so he comes out and, and, and says it. But anyways. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, 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 hang on. What exactly is this, Chris? About Eddie Howe changing. You find and you change your, you what, what change it, you changing your again, perception. Eddie Howe doesn't go five at the back or five at midfield at least. Then I'm gonna take giant straights towards the dark side. And he didn't. So that's yeah. why I am now taking giant straights towards the dark side. Because sadly, 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 I'm I'm losing faith, and uh, to me, changes should have been made after 15. As soon as they scored, you could see what was happening for the first 15 minutes, and for Eddie not to do anything about it. And then, at the finish, for the take off, Bruno and Botman, how way, man. Yeah. That, that, uh, that is just poor, poor, poor management. <laughs> All right, let, let, let's let's go with Roy. Let's go with Isaac, man. What do you? What's your score for Isaac? Um, I'll give him a five. He isolated most of the game, um, feed, feeding on scraps. He's got the two inverted wingers who never crossed the ball. Um, he had to do his own thing, and that chance he he created that by himself anyway. Yeah. So if that was Wilson, he wouldn't have done that. And if that was Wilson, he wouldn't have probably touched the ball maybe four or five times the whole game. So yeah, I'll just give him a five. He, he'll get better. It's good to see him back as well. So yeah, he definitely that's, showed, that, showed, that's, showed good things. That's one of that's one of the positives today. It's good to see him back. <laughs> Eddie Eddie had to sub him by the way because <laughs> you well, can't well, miss hey. football for like a month and a half or two months. Hey, irony, irony, gr irony, Granny has a message for Derek. Uh, <laughs> 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 anyway, Derek is just pissed off, man. You know, it's yeah. Yeah. Like it's so, so, five. Five for Isaac. <laughs> All right. Um, Tony, what do you score on Isaac, mate? Um, <clears throat> considering the guy got no service, um, he was starved of service. Um, good to see him come back and you know get some minutes in his legs. Um and he had that shot as well. So I'll give Isaac a six. I thought he was all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I think he's he's one of Players that tried to do everything he could, but you know, obviously, just no service, unfortunately. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Ian, um, six, same reasons, yeah. Mason, six, all right. Uh, Derek, I'm sure it's a four, right? You say four across the board, four, absolutely, four. Right, 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 invert, right, saying inverted wingers. Yeah. So nobody crossing the ball. What's is that going to do with the ball crossed? Well, if it goes, well, nothing, nothing, nothing. Isaac is useless in the air. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he, he's the got loads of headers. Head he's scored loads of headers. Look he's how many goals he's. Wait, he's look how many goals. Yeah, look how many goals he scored were assisted by Trippier, 
who crosses the yeah. ball. Uh, uh, whoa, whoa, I, I, not with his head. He scored the it's one. That was the, that was a brilliant, brilliant it's, half volley it's, by. It's well, a, not even a half volley. It's, it's volley a number by. nine. He's a number nine. Oh, he needs balls. Just he keep sending balls towards him, and he will score. But he's just standing nah, there. Nah, no nah, balls. Blah, 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 and he does. He had another one. How can he? Find a way, how can he get a four way, and Miggy find way, five? Find a way. Yeah. You gotta accept with Isaac that, that he's, he's not hundred percent. I said, I said all along, if he's fit, if he's good enough to be on the bench, you start him. And so, you know, there's a half a point or something to Eddie for actually starting him. But he he he, he hasn't got the energy to, or, or the desire, I don't know, to run around and and and, and when we're under the cosh. Well, Isaac was doing what we used to and, do. And, and Wilson, in that same situation, would have been doing a lot more than Isaac was doing. For about 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. All right. Well, the, we got to... did all right today, honestly, Del. I'm not arguing yeah. with you. I, I, I actually agree with what you're saying. He's not he's not yeah. a number nine like we remember, like Shearer and yeah. that. You know what I mean? What? He's not that number nine. Can play. He, can play he, doesn't, have he doesn't have to be. I mean, but, I mean. But also, uh, crosses don't have to be headers to finish them. Yeah. Crosses no can be volleys. They can go in off your ass. They can they be anything. But like, yeah. I actually don't disagree with what you say. No, saying. but in, right, inverted wingers yeah. are more likely to put low balls in than they are to put high balls in. So, but to blame lack of service is kind of. Yeah, we, we didn't we, get any service because we never got a ball yeah. out of our half. Yeah, so but no, we, we didn't. We didn't. That's because we had no midfield. Yeah, yeah, but normally, which is what, I, which is what I've been saying the whole time. That, that uh, I, I said, you know, I will go to the if Eddie doesn't start five at the back or five in midfield this weekend, I'm going to go to the dog's head because he's learning nothing. He hasn't. He has not understood. That those three in midfield are going to be overrun, and he has it. Mean, they, 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 they probably would have done a lot better if three of them were playing. Mate, balls in the box means more chances of scoring. That's why Trippier, since he's been to the club, it's been almost two years now. He's got almost twenty assists. Miggy, six assists in six years. That is. And which one of them is the winger? Which one of them is the winger? Yeah, but which one of them is a winger? You need more balls in the box from the winger, not the from the bastard at the back running all the way 80 right. meters okay. to the front. Yeah, that the is ball. a fair three, point. Three, three times, three times tonight, we had that same little foursome going on the right wing. Yeah. Bruno, Longstaff, Miggy, and Trips on the right wing, banging around, pass, 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 pass. But they didn't. They and, never and, passed. Inver invariably, Miggy gets it because he's inverted winger, which I hate. He, he comes in, Trips goes down the, the outside, he passes the ball to Trips, and Trips does the cross. Uh, that's, yeah, not, yeah. that's not Miggy's fault. That, 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 that's the way that they're that, that training and, and, and whatever they're doing. I know. That, that, yeah, little, but... that, that little four, the, the triangles, the work between them, looks yeah, triangles. great, looks you know, great you... but nothing happens. It doesn't look great anymore. You know why? Because no, it doesn't every, look great anymore. You're dead right. Because every single manager now knows exactly what we're going to do. It's the Correct. Open. It's not about us there anymore now. It's about that them. Season when, right. when they didn't know but what to do. Right, we got we we to we no, we no. move on to, to the last player. Go ahead, finish your point, Roy. Okay. Um, no, if I'm a left back and I've got a Miggy next to me, I'm just going to leave him because he's not going to cross the ball. I know he's going to pass it back to, to Trippier. Then all you, all you have to do with Miggy is see him down the yeah. outside. Uh, which, by the yeah. way, is why Trippy has got all the assists he's got. Yeah, because that numpty on the right in front of him can't cross the ball. Mm. So that's why. No, because he's, someone part, who can cross, he's part of the system, the system which is getting the ball to Trips to do exactly what he does well. Well, that's why I can't wait till Miggy's gone and hopefully the system is going to change and we'll start getting more goals now. Because you're going to get a right winger. You're going to get a right winger who can cross the ball and when he's right stuck... On the left foot. Yeah. Oh, oh, what, a right Barnes. winger on the right foot, perhaps? That would be lovely, that. Harvey, Harvey Barnes has got a great left foot, but he's right-footed. 
I don't know how Barnes yeah, isn't playing. You can, you, can, you can use both. Yeah. I don't know how no, Barnes is playing. Barnes yes, you, know, you know what it is with Miggy as well? His left foot is almost as bad as his right one now because you've seen how many shots <laughs> he's had in the last 10 games. Yeah. Or all you need to do is watch the Liverpool game again because he's going to have six goals. He's a rhino, man. He's got a foot of a rhino. All right, let's let's move on to Anthony Gordon. Uh, probably won't do the subs. We're going we're going a little bit too long on the show, but uh, uh, let's let's finish up with Anthony Gordon. What's the score on him? Um, yeah, I'll give him a I'll give him a five day. Um, yeah. Mock the shit out of him. He's just gonna do anything. Had all a couple right. of moves. Um, yeah, just a five. All right, Tony. Uh. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, look, um, pretty much in agreement with Roy. I mean, yeah, five. The, you know, there wasn't a lot. He was, he was starved, wasn't he? Really, he couldn't uh, get a lot of moves going, and um, it, it was a difficult game for all of them, really. Um, let's be honest. I know Derek's given them a four. Um, maybe no, I didn't give Gordon a four. You said oh, yeah, four four. Wait, four. when you say really? all the outfielders four, what does that mean, old man? Yeah, you said all the, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. No, no, I said all apart from Gordon. Tony. No. <laughs> well, you gave Mickey flipping five. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, that's right. Tony's that's Tony's okay. score, man. Okay, so yeah, I'm giving I'm I'm giving him a five. Um yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> nothing all right. more he could do, really. Ian. I'm giving him a seven. <laughs> Mason. I'm giving him a six for actually for his for his, for what he did on the pitch. But I'm giving him a seven because he never stopped working. He was trying. He was the him, Bruno, him and Bruno were the two people who were trying to start something off and uh he never stopped working. He worked back. He worked forward. He he outpaced Saka as well. I like that. When Saka was running for the ball, he absolutely skinned yeah. Saka. Fucking Saka shit. He skinned him. You know what I mean? Like, right. and, uh, and I, uh, I, 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 I cannot speak highly enough about Gordon. And I never thought I'd say that about a scouser. All right. Uh, <laughs> Mason, what do you think about uh, Gordon? Score-wise. I'll go with five. All right. Fair enough. I'll go with five. Uh, Derek? Seven. Best player on the pitch. Apart from... Uh, Me Carriers. Carriers. Right. Um, uh, not only did he not stop, but he, he was doing stuff, you know. He was making things happen. But unfortunately, everybody who passed the ball to what he, he, I, I think there was at least four, at least four occasions, probably five, when he 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 went through two or three of their players and laid the ball off, and nothing came of it. He done he done all the hard work, and and nothing came of it. I, I mean, I, I'm really looking forward to watching it again because. Oh no! Anyway. He had a good game, Gordon, for me. He, he, right. he's easily the pick of the outfield players. Anyways, uh, we've had a great show. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's been amazing to get everybody's perspective. Of course, uh, well, should we do we the, the should we do the subs quick? Okay, let's do the subs quick, man. Uh, you know what? Let's, yeah. We might as well. Yeah, do let's do this. Yeah. Oh. I'll I'll, uh, I'll give Dan Burn I'll give Dan Burn a six because he, he uh, crossed the ball. Um, he did that nice tackle as well. <laughs> that was a nice tackle he did. He fucked up once, which almost caused the goal, but then he cleared the ball off the line. So he did um, one big mistake and two good or three good things in those 10 minutes he was on. And, and we'll do the manager as well at the end. Um, and uh, Will I'll, I'll, give, I'll give Willock yeah. a seven. Yeah. As well. so, okay. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. He scored. And not only that, he played, he showed signs. Um, or is yeah. there, no, there, there were five subs too. So do all of them at Cut. once. Uh, um, the other three, non-existent really. But yeah. Okay. So we probably say a low score. Um, uh, Tony, what do you think on the subs? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Dan Byrne did all right when he came on, didn't he? Um, I, you know, he, 
the clearance off the lane, the cross for Willick's goal. Um, yeah, give Dan Burn a six for that little cameo. Um, and I'll give Willick, I'll give Willick a five for coming on and getting the goal as well. I didn't think he'd done too bad. Um, rest of them, I'll just give them what four or something because. They didn't really have an impact. Although Harvey Barnes did try, didn't he? So, yeah. Look, we'll give all the subs a standard five, apart from, obviously, Burn, who um, played okay when he came on. So, I'll give Burn a six. So, yeah. All right. Uh, Ian, what do you think on the subs, mate? Uh, Willock. <coughs> I got Willock. With... Willock looks exactly what we fucking need in that midfield. Yeah. Breath of fresh air. Someone who can run. Yeah. Someone with a pair of legs. And he's box to box. Um, his header, I never even knew he could head the ball, to be honest. What a fucking header that was. Obviously, as Derek will uh, profess, um, was a beautiful cross from uh, one of the greatest one of the greatest defenders that the club's ever had, Mr. BDV. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. Um, it was a good no, it was not, it was a fucking good cross. It was a great header. Great header. And uh, he played really well. Um, Barnes, I thought, should have played from the start. Bar- Barnes, for me, is a game changer. Barnes goes through and scores that goal. Barnes creates things. He's got vision. He looks up. He, he, he When he's got the ball at his feet, he does this fucking amazing thing that good footballers do. He fucking looks up to see where people are. Unfortunately, the headless chicken does not do that. And I love Miggy, and I don't want to slate him because I do love him. And last season, he was a major part of what happened to us. But last season was his purple patch. And it's it's he's not going to be, he's not never going to get back there. Like, certainly he hasn't this season. Anyway. Never. Um, Dan Byrne for me, 10. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And he's Ten. from Blythe. Ten. You'll oh. never ever be Dan Burn. He's from Blythe. Uh, I'm not gonna fucking dance. Sing, sing, sing it again. <laughs> sing it. Sing it again, Derek. He's from Blythe. <laughs> You'll never ever be Dan Burn. He's from Blythe. <laughs> All right, that's, that's, doing, that's doing Derek a massive favor, that actually. Funny story, actually. My brother just sold Blythe Spartans to uh, last week. He's had, he's been there for about fifteen years now, and uh, he he just sold the club last week. Yeah, um, that's that's good to know, man. We we're we're down right now, Derek. We don't want any good news right now. Um, Mason, what oh, do you think on the subs, mate? We'll give Willick a six for the goal, and I'll just give the rest of five. <laughs> yeah, I would give Willick a five, but if you if you hadn't scored that, I would give if you had hadn't yeah. scored that, I was just giving a five, but I'm gonna give Willick for a six for the goal. All right, uh, this is gonna be a good one for Derek because he, yeah. you know, he, he's he can't wait for this one. Derek, I'm assuming you gave everybody a four. So if you have any convictions, no, man, no, that was the starting eleven. Exactly. <laughs> the uh, the subs. Burn completely agree with Ian. Gets a ten. <laughs> Willick, oh, Willick, Willick was superb when he came on. He gets a oh, nine. <clears throat> Murphy. Gets an eight because the, the times he, he was running through. And What about when Murphy ran through and just ran the ball into touch? Oh, no. I was <laughs> shocking that, man. <laughs> it was fucking embarrassing. Shocking. Literally. We, we were saying that. Uh, well, Tommy, was like, Tommy was like, why is Murphy playing? Why is Murphy? Like, well, sorry, why is Murphy not playing? Why is fucking, you know, like... <coughs> Why is Miggy on? You, you, you can argue, you can argue the ball that Murphy's the brain is the same size as Miggy's. But yeah. <coughs> he, maybe, he, maybe, maybe that was, that was, he, he, 
outperformed the, the starters comfortably. And the only one that I would say that didn't outperform the starters was Barnes. But I'll give him, I'll give him a five. I thought Barnes was good. All right. Because well, he, was, he was better than yeah. what was on the Miggy. pitch. At the time. Yeah, it was better than Miggy. So do you think, seriously, Derek, I'm not taking the piss, I'll be nasty here. Do you no, think no. That, <laughs> that, um, that Murphy, excuse me, was better than Gordon? No. Because you just scored him better than Gordon, though, didn't you? Well, I did. I, but he was only on the pitch for a shorter period of time. I'm talking about what he did while he was on the pitch. I'll let you off. All right. Well, listen, we've we've had a we had a smacking show today, a cracking yeah, Eddie, show, as some of you Eddie, would say. Eddie Howe. Uh, Eddie Howe. Oh, oh my, yeah, yes, Mark Eddie Howe. Roy is my you know, that's why he's one of the co-hosts, because he keeps me in check. We can't go unless yeah. we give Howe his score. And to be honest with you, it it's uh he he was he was at fault for a lot of what happened today. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna give him uh I'm gonna give him a two. And two points because he made a change that I know he didn't want to do, but he did it. Uh, and unfortunately, because you, if you're a man of convictions, you should be able to make it because you feel right about it. I, I believe he doesn't feel right about taking burnout, but I, I, I might be wrong, of course. And um, so he made a change, but of course he didn't make the change in the formation, which needed help in that midfield. But you have to put Willick. If he's healthy to play, put him on. It, it, because obviously, long stuff, long stuff is playing worse than than burn. So why would you take burn out and not put and not take long stuff out? That's the way I think. But I'm gonna go with Roy. Roy, what do you think on how? Um, none none of us is a football coach or with a pro license or anything. But almost fifty two thousand people knew that if we play with a back four, we're in trouble. Even if it's burn or Tino on the left against yeah. Arsenal. Uh. He still did it. Yep. And yep. bad subs or late subs. Um, like you can be active. Okay, you can be reactive. He's not active. He's reactive. Um, he's, he's only gonna blame himself if he loses his job. And we, we how many goals we've let in in the last five games or six games now? So I'm gonna give him a one. And that's generous. Yeah, and he. By the he, way, we he we needs to be careful. Yeah, we did forget about ourselves. Billy Billy Trey on on the chat telling us that we forgot. He said he said he was our best defender, center back. Uh, or he fucking was. I am, uh, Can't disagree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He could have. He could have. Ten minutes. Pulled his yeah. pants down and yeah. done a shit on the fucking line, yeah. and been better than them two today. He could have done literally that. That same. Man, if, was. if we had back three, with him. Botman and Fabian Shea, that wouldn't have happened today. Right. Yeah. So him instead of um, and one on the back three long, with him long. burning Shea. So uh, what he should do now is He's every time you play, any any time we play any of the top five teams or top six teams, whatever, you play with three at the back, three centre backs, including Lascelles. Like, All right. I think, um, I think Burn shouldn't start again, but yeah. Um, Sorry, let me see. Up okay. top. Let me, uh, Tony. What do you think on Eddie Howe? What's his score? I mean, look. When I saw the team sheet, I thought, "Oh, that's a good team," you know, because <clears throat> yep. you know, I didn't. Um, a team that could have gone out there and been a bit better than they were. To be fair, but look, um. Defence has not been right this season. We've shipped in 45 goals so far this season, um, which is shocking, really. Um, but look, um, the way he's, it's his substitutions again. Um, look, um, and it, it, it's the fact he doesn't change that. You know, it'd be nice if he even changed stuff during, like, in the in game as well, like, instead of having. If you didn't want to have a four three three, then change it up a bit during the game. But we're not seeing this. Um, maybe he's too stubborn to do that. But look, um, for me, I'll I'll, I'll give Eddie how to. Um, you know, not not the greatest to be fair today. So yeah, I'll give him a two. Um, he, he could have changed things, but he he doesn't. Ian. (laughs) 
I'm quite a big believer in you can only you can only work with the tools that you've got but a good craftsman or workman doesn't blame the tools so it's a very hard one this because these tools last year and I'm talking about the players <laughs> these tools last year were world class tools last year he puts that team out last year that he put out today, we go there and come away with a draw and we give them a really hard game full of shit hosiery and fucking we 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 play hard and we play with heart. I find it very, very hard to and I can understand people will disagree with us, but I find it really hard to blame Eddie out for this. I think I think a lot of it is coming down to the mentality of the players, not concentrating, not playing not doing what they need to do. It's basics. It's real. It's real fucking basics. What they're not doing. Stay in position. Keep your shape. Nobody here can say that those players aren't well coached. Because you remember last year when we were fucking brilliant. Basically the same players and it's the same coaches and they were well coached last year. Derek might disagree. It's my opinion. Yeah. But... But saying that, um, I thought I thought Eddie for the first time since he's been Newcastle manager, when the camera kept going on him, it looked like he did not have a fucking clue what was going on, and that to me is scary, because I really love Eddie O, and I think Eddie O is probably one of the best man managers, one of the best coaches who brings the best out of players that I've. Certainly, that I've seen for Newcastle, he's improved. Look at who has improved. We can, I'm not going to go on about it, but anyhow, I'm not putting it all on Eddie's toes. I understand everybody else saying, Yeah, he was shit, it's all his fault. I don't blame Eddie, I blame the players if I'm being honest, but he could have done things better. So, I'm just going to give him a four, and that's a very generous four. Yeah, uh, Mason, what's your score on Eddie? Um, it's an interesting one. I think he needs to book up with some of the players, particularly Almon. You've you've <clears throat> you've seen it. Obviously, with Bournemouth, he did it there. I mean, he just needs to. And I, for what he's done for is long but ex exceptional. But there's times where you need to sort out different positions because some of them players, especially arm one, need to be dropped or out with the watch J squad altogether. And he didn't do it. I give him credit tonight for dropping Burn. But he needs to he needs to drop that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna I'm go. Gonna with, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna give him three. And long All stuff. Right. All right. Uh, let's finish off. We gotta go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's finish off with with uh, Derek. Derek, what do you gotta say, man? A big fat zero. He bowed. He bowed to public opinion and dropped burn. And put Tino in, which made absolutely no difference whatsoever. And like Ian, I'm a believer. But what he was able to do last season was without the injuries. And that's the only thing, the, the only thing that I have now got in Eddie's favour is because I... As you know, I've been banging on about it for weeks and weeks and weeks. You know, we underestimate. I thought we, hey, Dan, we fucking definitely do know that. We underestimate the injuries. <laughs> but but, but as then, you know, the game's gone. And for a sub off, Botman and Bruno, who weren't having great games, as we know. That to me was bad, bad management. But 
he should have known if he's half the manager that I would look to think he is, he should have known that we had to change the shape for that game. And he didn't. All he did was change Tino for Burn. And all of the players that, it, that we got so much out of last season, they haven't been available, man. You know, so that's that's the that's the that's the, the, the only thing that is keeping me away from being totally on the dark side and Eddie out is because you have to have to acknowledge the fact that he's had nothing to work with. But he's I I I I I cannot I, I, I I've said how many times this weekend he and I, and I honestly believed he would change. I honestly believed that he would go five at the back or five in midfield, whichever way you want to look at it. And he did. I think he. I think he no, thought, Del, let's fucking take it to him. Let's fucking go. Let's go for it, and the players didn't turn up. That's what no, I really think. That that that, that mid that. That, that midfield three, I've, I've said all weekend, if we play that midfield three, we'll get crucified. And that's exactly what happened. And for him not to know that, you know, he, he's Eddie Howe. Well, uh, yeah, that who have well, loved loved and, and admired and all the rest of it. But he, he, he just doesn't seem to be learning. And it's nothing to do with Miggy. It's nothing to do with Burn. It's to do with the shape of the team at the minute. When we've got all of these injuries, you, you've somehow got to be able to cope with those injuries. And he, it's, to me now, he's proven himself incapable of, of coping with those injuries. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm, get, I'm, uh, not, I'm, not saying we have, I'm not saying we wouldn't have got beat. It would, it, it would change shape and done something different. But I'll tell you what I am saying. For the last six or seven games, when we've been shipping goals like crazy, but it continued, as, I, as Einstein said, if you keep on doing the same thing and getting the same result and continue to do it, it's lunacy. I bet you Einstein never fucking said. I am paraphrasing Einstein there, of course. Yeah. All right. Listen, we've we've, we've had a we had a, a a great show. We've gone for two hours. We know we and people are still watching. But you know, I gotta go eat. I'm hungry. I haven't ate all day. Man, before before <laughs> you eat, final thought. Oh my God, this dude. Final Roy. final thought. Final thought. Today we can't blame the injuries because if you look at the team we had today, beside of Jordan, that was the, the same. Bench. Team we had nice. last season. Yes, it's yeah, the same me. team we had last missile. season. Uh, excuse yeah. me, it's, it's Joe Linton. Take Joe Linton. <laughs> there you go. And that's the same team. The, one the, one one player, the, one, the only player in our current squad that I wouldn't sell. Of course, of course. No, mate, mate. There's another stat here. We haven't won a game since Bruno joined without Bruno. Yeah, we know that man. That's all hat. No, no, we haven't won one game. We've played what fifty games or six? How many games has Bruno had? Hey, I'm, I'm we, not, I'm not decrying Bruno. We, we yeah, but I'm telling you. So there's yeah. a hidden. But I know that. Yeah. So he could, he should have changed his shape, and he needs to change his shape. Well, I know. I, th I, th I, I, you can play the same team. Agreeing, you? It's much easier. He's actually agreeing. Game. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, we, again, we had a great show. I've said this for, um, like we're about to quit. I'm, try I'm trying to smile, but I can't. I'm... No, you are. Yeah. But listen, we I'm thank you everybody it. for thank you everybody for joining. I appreciate your support out there. We had a great show. So smash the like button if you haven't already done so on the way out. Subscribe to the show. By the way, we have our friendly ch channels that you can subscribe as well. It's all black and white. Uh, Tony Tony's channel is is in the description as well. Jack from Tune TV. And as well as tune as, review, you, tune review, the tune review, the tune review, and UFC matters as well. So, uh, yeah, you know, give everybody a love. We will see you guys if not tomorrow, probably not tomorrow, but definitely Monday. And UFC insiders are back on Monday. 
to talk more. Let's smash Blackburn. Come on. Yes. We, oh, yeah. We got to talk about that match. We got to move on quick. We, oh, we, by, we, by the way, by the way, I missed, that, I, I missed that because when, when somebody mentioned that before, uh, I will say now, if we do not beat Blackburn on Tuesday, Eddie is out the door. Dos Derek there. There we go. That's that that's that's one take. That's what I would take there. Dos Derek. If we do not beat Blackburn on Tuesday, Eddie sadly, sadly, sadly will not be our manager next season. Wow. I'll, like, I'll, I'll have to agree, mate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We gotta go. We gotta go, fellas. We gotta go. Smash the like button. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye. How are the lads?